Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Megan. And if you are returning, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I do really, truly appreciate each and every one of you guys coming back to another video. Today, we are going to be deep diving and trying out and reviewing this guy right here. Yes, I have already opened the packaging. I wanted to make sure I got the right color shade for me. This is the Tarte Hydro Sealer Concealer. I believe it's part of their C line. I did receive this in the, in the mail a couple of days ago. I wanted to give it a try out with you you guys on camera to see how it wears, what's the coverage, and does it live up to the expectations that we all want it to live up to. Now, before I do get into the video, please do me a favor and go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up to like it. It would really help to push my videos out into the YouTube verse. Also, if you find yourself coming back to my channel quite frequently, go ahead and click that little subscribe button right there, as well as a little notification bell if you want to be notified when I do upload my videos. And without further ado, guys, we're just gonna get into it. Okay, so like I said in my introduction, I did receive this in the mail a few days ago. I got mine in the shade 20N Light Neutral. I don't know much about this concealer, to be really honest with you guys. I didn't know that this was going to be launching through Tarte, and I wasn't really in, <laughs> I wasn't really in the market for a new concealer because I have really been loving my Milani Concealer and Perfect Concealer, as well as my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Those are my ride or die concealers. But we are inching closer to the summer months, and in the summer months, I really don't like to wear a full face of makeup, especially when I'm just kind of walking around the house, going outside, really not going anywhere. Now, if I'm going outside and I'm going to work or I'm going to like an event or something or to a nice dinner, that's when I put on that full glam, full beats. But for every day, I really don't want to wear really thick, heavy makeup. So I feel like because this does say it's a hydro sealer, which means hydrating, and it's part of like their C collection, I know that some of their collections tend to be a little bit more light coverage, at least I believe that they are. So that's what I'm hoping to get out of this. Now, let me jump on Sephora website to see what it claims to do. I will say that right now it is not currently available on the Sephora website nor on the Tarte website, but it is set to launch, I believe later this month on their website. It is currently available on the QVC website though. So you can pick up the full shade, the full collection. This also does come with a sponge that is specific for this line. I don't have the sponge. I only have the concealer. I feel like a sponge is a sponge is a sponge, especially with concealer. So I'm not going to give that a try. We're only going to give the concealer a try today. While it is not currently being sold on the Sephora website, it does have it as a new product on the app. And it actually looks like they do have a full size as well as a mini size of the concealer. So I'm assuming that they're hoping this is going to be a very successful launch because um, normally brands don't launch a smaller product unless it is a very highly requested product. For the full size product, you do get 0.21 fluid ounces of product. That is fairly normal for a concealer size. And it does retail for 24 if you want the smaller size here um, in the mini size, it comes with 0 0.03 ounces and it is $10. That is quite a bit less product to be honest, guys. Like unless you're strapped for cash, I probably would just go ahead and upgrade to the higher amount, even if you're not quite sure if you're gonna like it. A little bit about the concealer, what it claims to do and what it claims to do on the Sephora website. It says it is a medium coverage, natural finish concealer made to move with your skin to cover imperfections and hydrate up to 12 hours. Highlighted ingredients are marine plant extracts to help reduce the appearance of fine lines while smoothing and visibly softening the skin, which is awesome. It has vitamin B3 niacinamide, which does help to reduce the appearance of pores, uneven skin tones, fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, all of that. And then it has caffeine, that's awesome caffeine actually does really help to reduce the puffiness under your eyes. So sometimes like when you wake up in the morning, you have that puffiness is there. This is meant to actually help reduce the appearance of those. It is also a clean product Sephora. So it is vegan, cruelty-free and gluten-free. And it does also come in a recyclable packaging. I, like I said, I did already pull it out of the package. This is 20N and straight away, guys, this is a pretty dark. I mean, it looks like it'll be a good match for my self tan color, but if I don't have any tan on my face, this is going to be way too dark for me. My plan for the review today is really to do a full review as well as wear test with you guys. So I'm gonna be just doing a review on the concealer, how it lays on my skin, how it lays on top of makeup, and then come back a few hours later and let you guys know how it looks by the end of tonight. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand, guys. Uh, definitely, I would say like an orangey undertone, not even neutral, which I'm a little bit concerned about considering it does say that it is meant for neutral undertones. I'm gonna compare it against my short bread concealer, which has a yellowy undertone. Um, and see really the shade difference. Okay, pretty good actual, not like a shade match, but good overall color payoff here. I mean, here is the Tarte 
concealer. Here is my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is obviously much more full coverage and this does claim to be a full coverage concealer while this one is obviously a medium coverage and that's what it claims to be. To me, it actually looks a little bit light coverage, not even medium coverage, but we will see. Can we build it up? Let's get into it. I have been loving putting down concealer first. I will not be going in with a color corrector under my eyes simply because I wanna see how this does with actual coverage of my skin because that's what a lot of people like to use a concealer for is to actually conceal areas. Um, I'm not gonna be using this on my face to really spot concealer or anything. I'm just gonna be using it to conceal under my eye bags. So if you guys can see, I do have pretty dark circles under my eyes. It's a genetic thing. I've always had them. Really the only way to correct them long-term if I wanted to really get them semi-permanently corrected is to get my eyes um, filled under here with filler. I haven't done that ever in my life. It is not anything other than I just always have them. <laughs> no matter how much sleep I get, no matter how much hot water I drink, no matter how many times I take my vitamins, they're just kind of always there. So that is a big insecurity of mine. Let's see how this does with covering this up. I'm just gonna kind of put it here. I don't wanna use too much because I am going in with this before my foundation as well as after my foundation, just because that's how I like to use my products. I will use a beauty blender on one side and then a brush on the other. I hardly ever use brushes for my concealer very transparently with you guys. I never really do, but just for the sake of the video, I will go ahead and do that for those of you guys who do use brushes. So I will use a beauty blender on this side to blend it out. Wow, okay. It absolutely concealed a little bit. I'm not gonna conceal, say that it concealed a lot, but what's great is that it does feel, honestly, like I don't have much under my eyes. I only have like my normal skincare product on. I don't have anything else. It gives a little bit of a sheen. So when I move my face, it can really hide a little bit of the blueness that I have, but obviously you can still tell I have my blue circles popping through. Like it is what it is, they're there. Let's go in with a brush and see how that works. If you are gonna use a brush, make sure that you're using a very fluffy brush and you're also being very gentle on the under eye. You don't wanna disturb the skin under your eyes. And there you go, it's blended out. Do I see a difference? Yeah, again, same as the other side. I mean, did it fully conceal my under eyes? Uh, no, not really. What's pretty cool though is that it did actually, it matches my natural skin tone fairly well. Like obviously over here, you can tell that it's pretty yellow but it's not like it came out super, super, super harsh. Whereas a full coverage concealer, you really don't have much room to play with. It kind of just like, once it's there, it's there. It's, you gotta go in with a full face of makeup. The good thing about a lighter coverage concealer is that you can kind of either play it up or play it down. So if I wanted to really just pop a little concealer on, maybe like, some mascara, I could get out the door. I wouldn't look fantastic, but it wouldn't be horrific. I would not say that this is medium coverage, okay? I'm just gonna come right out and say it, immediate thoughts, not medium coverage. This is at most a light coverage concealer. Uh, it's still sheer, sheer to light coverage. I don't know if you can build it up right now because I haven't tried to build it out, but uh, build it up, but it's definitely not medium coverage. Now, before I do go in with the rest of my face products, I do want to see if I can build this up. Let's see if that's going to do really anything for us. I wasn't really planning on doing a full face of makeup today, but I do want to at least be able to put some coverage on. I mean, obviously I just did my face, so I have to, if I'm going out in public, I have to at least be able to match my skin to it. I'm going to go in with like a pretty good amount. Right off the bat, when I build it up and I have two layers of this on, I like the look of a sponge much better than a brush because it's actually, I don't know if you guys can see here, but it's actually starting to bunch up and really like almost pill under my eyes, which is very odd because it's not doing it on the other side. So I'm just gonna use a sponge obviously to just kind of see if I can get, yeah, that's kind of buffing it away. That's super strange. I've never had that happen before. So this is with two full coats of the concealer. I think with two full coats, you can get medium coverage. This is, I would, I would definitely call this a good medium coverage. I don't think that you can get full coverage out of this. Um, and if you're used to an absolute full coverage concealer, like I am with a Too Faced Born This Way one, maybe with like the Tarte Shape Tape, with those type of concealers, you're not gonna get that coverage out of here. But again, it's not really claiming to be a full coverage concealer. It's just kind of claiming to be a good medium coverage. It feels really good under the eyes. Like it feels like I kind of just have an eye cream on, like I can move it. It's creasing a little bit, but again, because it's not super full coverage, it's not like super, super, super creasy. So for $24, 
Will I say that it's worth it, but that I have no makeup on? For me, no, because I like full coverage concealers. But for those of you guys who, again, aren't like a full coverage kind of person and you like lighter coverage makeup, this might be your best friend. Honestly, just again, first impressions, nothing else on. Let me go ahead and put some more makeup on. I will come back to you guys and let you know what I'm thinking. Okay, guys, I am back, obviously, with a full face of makeup on. I know I said I wasn't gonna go like super heavy coverage today or like a full face, but you know, one thing turned into another and uh, I ended up with a full like foxy eye look. So we just rolled with it. We just went with it. This is how it is. I apologize if you can hear any noise in the background. I am using my new microphone today. So I'm hoping you can't hear too much background noise, but Nick is actually on the Peloton right now. So I'm gonna do my best that I can to actually project over top of this. Yeah, I put all of my makeup over top and obviously you guys can see like, is this a super full coverage concealer? Put it down below. What do you guys think? First impressions, do you think it's super full coverage? I mean, to me, I think I was able to get medium to high medium coverage out of this, to be like real honest with you guys. I am super impressed. I didn't go in with like with super full coverage products. I just went in with my Revlon Candid Photo Ready foundation and then my normal products over top of that. But I didn't add any powders under my eyes except for my Pat McGrath under eye setting powder, um, which is a translucent setting powder. I got mine in the shade light. So it's not adding any coverage on top of it. Everything laid beautifully. Like It's not cakey. It's not creasing. I, I do have like a little bit of lines obviously because a concealer is not going to correct lines. It's not filler, it's not Botox, it's not gonna correct any of that, but it's not sinking into any of my crow's feet because I am way like overdue, obviously for getting all that done. I will say I can obviously still see a little teeny, teeny, teeny tiny of blue hues popping through right there, but it's really pretty from far away as well as like if I lean forward up close with you guys, it is a really pretty concealer and it feels very, very, very nice on the skin. I like this so far. I didn't honestly think that I was going to like it this much, but I actually kind of do. I kind of like the less coverage concealers, which is crazy to me because I am a full coverage kind of girl, always. I am super impressed. So I don't even know what else to say by it right now. What I want to do is go about my day. Right now it is 1.42 in the afternoon. I am going to go live my life a little bit and I will come back at the end of the night around like 9, 9.30 and let you guys know how it's been looking. Did it crease? Did it slip and slide. So far though, this gets a thumbs up. Honestly, I'm impressed. I will see you guys in a few hours. Oh, okay. Is this turned on? Hopefully. I'm sorry guys. I don't have my, <laughs> my viewfinder connected. So it is now the actual next day. Obviously, as you guys can tell, I did film um, an, a hair update video this morning. I just last night completely crashed on the couch watching Outlander and I woke up around like 12, 12.30 and I just kind of went to bed from there after I washed my face off and I completely forgot to do an outro. Um, and the same thing almost just happened now. It's just past 11 and I am exhausted. I've had the makeup on for a good portion of today, not too long. Um, I pretty much did the exact same makeup except for the eyes because I knew that I was gonna be filming an update for you guys on the Tarte Hydro Sealer and I didn't want any of the products to be different. So the only thing that's different is just kind of the eye makeup look itself, not the actual products that I used. Um, I've had an on right now, I would say for about nine hours. And today, I mean, it's looking really good. It's looking actually better than it looked yesterday. Granted, yesterday I had it on for 12 hours and I fell asleep like face first in a cushion. So it wasn't looking the best. I had mascara everywhere. So it kind of messed with the actual concealer itself. And I was tossing and turning and sweating and stuff and I was sleeping. So I didn't, <laughs> I'm gonna discredit what happened yesterday. But today um, it came off really well. I mean, like I, I'll zoom you guys in. It hasn't really creased. I mean, I'm getting my normal little teeny tiny fine lines right here like I normally do. I did set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath Labs Light Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder, um, which is a super fine powder. I love it. It was absolutely fantastic. I really like this, guys. I really, really, really like it. I will say that obviously I am having a little bit of blue hues pop through right here, but it is a medium coverage concealer and I do have very dark circles. So it's gonna happen. I'm not really like that frustrated by it. And I did get like a full face of makeup on. I mean, yesterday, as you guys saw, I was able to build it up to have like a nice little 
eye look. So it wasn't like super, super, super glam, but it was definitely like a heavy coverage day and it still looked pretty good with it. I think that if you are somebody who does have dark circles, this is gonna work for you if you can, if you have the patience to build it up. But if you're somebody who just doesn't have the patience to build it up or you're just looking for like super full coverage off the bat, you're not really gonna like this because this is a medium coverage concealer. It will light to medium, buildable up to medium high, but it lasted really well. Like it doesn't really even feel like I have anything under my under eyes when I do have a lot of things under my under eyes right now. It's not crinkly. Like normally when I wear my, my Born This Way concealer, I would feel super dry by this time of the night just from having it on my skin for so long. It would just have sucked the life out of it and it didn't. So I'm I'm really, really enjoying this. I mean, I think this would be, uh, probably is going to be a favorite of mine just for everyday makeup to be very fair. So that's kind of my little update on it. I appreciate you guys' patience hanging tight with me, even though it's kind of like a two day review and without it actually being like a two day review. I really do truly appreciate it. Um, I am gonna try to get this edited and up tomorrow for you guys, cause this is a newer product. I really like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did enjoy it, please again, give it a thumbs up. I would really help to help me out a little bit and until next time guys I hope that you guys have a fantastic week the next couple of videos um, I think I said this earlier the next couple of videos I will have are going to be pre-recorded because I am going into surgery on Thursday which will be a couple days after I actually post this video so they might not be actual um, makeup related but in the meantime think about other makeup products you might want me to review things you want me to look into but yeah that's all I got so have a great night guys